you good things which no eye can see. Fill our hearts, we pray, with the warmth of your love, so that loving you in all things and above all things, we may attain your promises, which surpass every human desire. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the book of Genesis. The serpent was more crafty than any other wild animal that the Lord God had made. He said to the woman, Did God say you shall not eat from any tree in the garden? The woman said to the serpent, We may eat of the fruit of the trees in the garden, but God said you shall not eat of the fruit of the tree that is in the middle of the garden, nor shall you touch it or you shall die. But the serpent said to the woman, You will not die, for God knows that when you eat of it, your eyes will be opened and you will be like God, knowing good and evil. So when the woman saw that the tree was good for food and that it was a delight to the eyes, and that the tree was to be desired to make one wise, she took of its fruit and ate. And she also gave some to her husband who was with her, and he ate. Then the eyes of both were opened, and they knew that they were naked. And they sewed fig leaves together to make lo loincloths for themselves. They heard the sound of the Lord God walking in the garden at the time of the evening breeze, and the man and the woman hid themselves from the presence of the Lord God among the trees of the garden. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. Psalm 32, you are my refuge, Lord, with deliverance you surround me. Be glad in the Lord and 
and rejoice, O righteous, and shout for joy, all you upright in a heart. You are my refuge, Lord, with deliverance. from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus returned from the region of Tyre and went by way of Sidon towards the Sea of Galilee in the region of the Decapolis. And they brought to him a man who was deaf and who had an impediment in his speech. And they begged him to lay his hand on him. Jesus took him aside in private away from the crowd and put his fingers into his ears and he spat and touched his tongue. Then looking, looking up to heaven, Jesus sighed and said to the man, Epiphatha, that is, be opened. And immediately his ears were opened, his tongue was released, and he spoke plainly. Then Jesus ordered them to tell no one, but the more he ordered them, the more zealously they proclaimed it. They were astounded beyond measure, saying, He has done everything well. He even makes the deaf to hear and the mute to speak. The Gospel of the Lord. There are many places in the Gospels where people bring someone to Jesus. They bring people who usually cannot make their own way to Jesus themselves. We are given a picture of people caring for each other, especially for those who have some form of disability. We have a good example of that in today's Gospel reading. People brought to Jesus a deaf man who had an impediment in his speech, and they begged Jesus to lay his hands on the man. They led him to Jesus, and then they intercede with Jesus on his behalf because he cannot speak for himself. The people who brought the man to Jesus portray one element of our own baptismal calling. We are all called to bring each other to Jesus, and like the people in the Gospel reading, we are to intercede for each other with the Lord, to pray for each other, especially for those who, for whatever reason, cannot pray for themselves, especially the sick. The Lord draws us to himself in and through each other. He needs us if he is to do his work. He needs us if he is to do his life-giving work, just as he needed people to bring the deaf man who couldn't speak to him. Each of us is an important laborer in the Lord's field. The Lord is dependent on every one of us. The, Lord, the love that moved Jesus to respond to the sick and broken with compassion was the same love that led Jesus to the cross. And we are called to have that same sacrificial love for one another. And hopefully we will not ever be like Adam and Eve and resist the devil. I hope that we will resist the devil who leads us to doubt and not trust the goodness, the love, and the mercy of God for us. Our prayers of intercession today. We pray today for our Holy Father, Pope Francis, 
Our Archbishop Peter and all those who lead our guide our church through these difficult times, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those who are adversely affected by the pandemic, especially those in our own city and area, our province, our country, and our world, we pray for that scientists will find the cure for this disease. We pray to the Lord. We pray for peace in our world, for the troubled areas of our world, where civil strife seems to still uh, be an issue. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For all the sick that were recommended to our prayers today, we pray for Kevin Dormady, and we pray for Clement Time Atkins, those who are recovering from surgery, and also for Petrina Miller. We pray to the Lord. For all those who have died, we pray especially today for Hubert and Doris White and Regina McNeil. For these and all of our loved ones who have gone before us, we pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayers. And now for the prayers in the quiet of your hearts today, your own intentions. We pray to the Lord. God, our Heavenly Father, we thank you for all the graces and blessings you give us every day. And we make our prayer in the name of Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. my sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and for the good of all his holy church. Let us pray. Receive our oblation, O Lord, by which is brought about a glorious exchange, that by offering what you have given, we may merit to receive your very self, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit, lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Father most holy, through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ your word through whom you made all things, whom you sent as our Savior and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin, fulfilling your will and gaining for you a holy people, he stretched out his hands as he endured his passion, so as to break the bonds of death and manifest a resurrection. And so with the angels and all the saints, we declare your glory, as with one voice we acclaim. Holy, 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 God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna 
are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly to his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. And therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Peter, our Bishop, with the clergy and all your people. Remember all of our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, our spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with St. John the Baptist, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. <clears throat> through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen, amen, amen. We pray with confidence to our Heavenly Father in the words that Jesus taught us. Our Father, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days and that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity, in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. We offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us.
Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I, I am, am not worthy, worthy that, that you should you enter me. under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. A prayer for those who are unable to receive Holy Communion at this time. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most blessed sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. The body of Christ. Amen. Our communion. Let us be bread. Let us be bread, blessed by the Lord, broken and shared, life for the Let us pray. Made partakers of Christ through these sacraments, we humbly implore your mercy, Lord, that conform to his image on earth. We may merit also to be his co heirs in heaven, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. We pray uh, to Mary for help and protection during this pandemic. O oh Mary, you always shine, shine in our path as a sign of salvation, salvation and of hope. hope. We entrust ourselves to you, help of the sick, who at the cross took part in Jesus' pain, keeping your faith firm. You, salvation of your people, know what we need, and we are sure you will provide so that as in Cain of Galilee, we may return to joy and to feasting after this time of trial. Help us, Mother of Divine Love, to conform to the will of the Father and to do as we are told by Jesus, who has taken upon himself our sufferings and carried our sorrows to lead us through the cross to the joy of the resurrection. 
Under your protection, protection we seek refuge, refuge Holy, Holy Mother, Mother of God. Do not, not disdain the entreaties of we who are in trial, trial but, but deliver us from every danger, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Virgin. Amen. Amen. Before the final blessing, we again continue to pray for all those in our St. John's metro area who are affected by the pandemic, who are now isolating, who have been diagnosed with COVID. Make sure that we're always praying for them and be kind to them and reach out to them by prayer and by our good works. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless all of us. In the name of the Father, Father, and of the the Son, Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Spirit. our Mass is ended. Let us go now in peace, glorifying the Lord by our lives. Thanks be to God. God bless. Our missioning hymn is number 480 in the Catholic Book of Worship, Amazing Grace. Amazing grace, how sweet the sound that saved and strengthened me. I once was lost, but now am found, was blind, but When we've been there ten thousand years, bright shining as the sun, we've no less days to sing God's praise than when.